minimal productive programming desk setup. Writing clean code is important, and same is true for having clean and productive desk when you're working from home or you're working from the office. To get in the flow and in the right headspace to code and solve problems creatively, it's best to have a space that is clean and fits your needs. In this video, I'll be walking you through my programming desk setup and I'll be touching on coding must-haves and favorite desk accessories. Everything that I talk about my desk setup will be linked in the description of this video. My office and desk evolved through the years and this setup I find the most clean and best fits my needs. Let's get started. Hardware. For a monitor, I'm using an ultra-wide monitor, a 49-inch one. In particular, it's a Samsung Odyssey G9. And you might be wondering, do you really need an ultra-wide monitor as a programmer? And honestly, no, you don't need one. You can program just as well on a smaller monitor. The reason why I want and I use this is because I usually tend to be a person who needs a lot of real estate and in my particular job um, I'm using a lot of charts, a lot of diagrams, flow, char flow charts um, and so much more and it's like I love this monitor for this, it's just amazing. And another thing, it allows me to have a series of devices connected to it at the same time and by devices I mean computers so at the same time I can have like my PC my work laptop and my um, personal laptop connected so that's one of the things that I love the most that I have one monitor and it fits all of that so as I just said um, the monitor is attached to the following custom built PC and this PC actually is a beast of a computer that is more than I need and I use it for coding, learning, editing. Um, so this is uh, Intel Core i9-9900K overclocked to 5 gigahertz CPU. For graphics, it uses a GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. For RAM, it's using a 32 gigabyte, a 3200 megahertz, which is overclocked to 4200 megahertz. For SSDs, it has two, uh, both one terabyte. And for OS, in particular, it's using Samsung 970 Pro M.2. And for applications, it's using Samsung 8060. Uh, Pro and externally I'm using a couple of uh, portable SSDs both two terabytes and it's a Samsung T7 and all of this it's in hosted in a PC case in particular it's a be quiet uh, case and it's a 700 white edition so my husband built this computer for me and it was really important for us to build a computer that is going to handle everything I was going to throw at it and so far it's been amazing. Next, the monitor is also connected to my MacBook Pro 13 inch work laptop which obviously do just work on it, nothing else. And it's also connected to my Dell XPS 13 personal laptop which I am doing coding on the go on this laptop and other non-programming tasks and browsing, learning and other stuff. Also using a hyperdrive as a docking station to connect my audio, my mic and my camera to my work laptop. Let's move to the center of the table. That's where my keyboard is. And I'm using a compact Logitech keyboard and that is a K. 380 keyboard which I really enjoy and for the mouse I'm also using a Logitech mouse and that in particular is MX Master 2S. The reason that the why I enjoy both of these products so much is that they both are multi-device uh, keyboard and mouse which allows me to seamlessly connect and switch between um, the three devices that I use the most, that is my custom-built 
computer, my laptop, personal laptop, and my work laptop. Um, and they work just great. Next on my desk, you will notice a round black thing, and that's simply my audio and my mic. That's what I use for different meetings, conferences, and so on. And I love this because it's so easy to mute yourself, unmute yourself. I'm using a DSLR as a webcam and a light. I'm also using a sit and stand desk, so I'm trying to alternate between the day to stand and sit. When I'm standing, I'm using an anti-fatigue mat. Uh, if I stand for an hour or so, then I might sit down. And yeah, I'm trying to, to do a decent job at that, but honestly, I'm not always successful. So sometimes I have days that I'm sitting all day or some days I stand all day. Moving on to accessories. On my desk, you will notice a multi-device charger that allows me to charge my phone and my watch or earbuds at the same time it's out of the way that facilitates no distractions next i'm using an organizer for post-it notes and pens and pencils my laptop is in a laptop holder which holds two laptops when it's needed when one is in use i actually have it on a stand that allows airflow so it keeps it cool Next, you'll always notice a notebook on my desk and that is because I find it useful and it helps me a lot. According to David Allen, your brain is for having ideas, not for holding them. You need a place that is external, that is secure, that is safe and well organized to store your ideas. And that's what I'm doing. And in reality, I tried so many things to find a way that I can plan, I can schedule and reflect and make progress. And I could not find something that fits my, my schedule and my style the best. So I created a custom template for me and that's what I'm using. I have my own uh, template that works best for me and I have been using it for a while and somehow it helps me figure out uh, and stay focused and move the needle in the right direction. So yeah, I highly recommend you writing down your ideas, your notes, and your plans. On the right, as you can see, there's a wall organizer where it keeps a lot of things that I need organized. I have my notebook right here, easy to access and out of the way when I really don't need it. And yes, that is my desk setup. This is my way that I found that I can work the most efficient. As I said, throughout the years, my office changed so much, much actually uh, since I think 2019, I probably did redid my desk about six times or something like that. And right now I think this is the one that I am the most enjoying. Honestly, it's not all perfect. And it's due to the fact that I would like my monitor to be mounted so I have a little bit of more space on my desk but the desk that I'm using is not um, allowing that so the next thing probably that I will do when it gets to that I might upgrade my desk but out of uh, outside of that I'm using regular things nothing out of ordinary I believe it's minimal. As you can see, I have a monitor, a couple of devices, which that is not minimal, but um, I need those. I'm using keyboards and mouse that allows me to seamlessly connect and shift between these devices when I need them. A, a charger on my desk, which try like it's there when it's needed to get my devices charged, but it's under. Uh, the monitor behind it so it helps me stay focused and not distracted the next thing that probably not a lot of people are using it as you saw is the jabra pack which i recommended my webcam which is a dslr my light and other than that i don't see having anything out of ordinary so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video you found some ideas of how to organize your space or you saw a tool that i use in a different way anyways um thank you for watching until the end uh, i really appreciate it and see you in the next video bye bye